Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. Uh, so today I wanted to film a tutorial using only exclusively drugstore slash affordable makeup. So nothing high end, I didn't use my Tarte Shape Tape, I didn't use anything that was too expensive. Even my lashes are um, drugstore. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. Okay guys, so starting off, I'm going in with the Maybelline Matte and Poreless in the shade 220. And I'm just dotting that all over my skin and then blending it out with a Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. So I'm going in little bits at a time and then building up the coverage. I like the way that it covers it. You can see how it's getting rid of my redness, but in, an, in the next clip I am going in applying just a little bit more in the areas where I feel like I need more coverage. Next I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Sand Sable. I absolutely love this shade for highlighting. I love the color. Uh, the consistency is not a Tarte Shape Tape consistency. It's a little bit thinner, um, but I really do like this concealer. I think it's a great drugstore option. Then I'm just going back in with the beauty sponge, uh, spraying a little bit of rose water on it and blending it out. I will say next time I will be using a brush. I think that the beauty sponge lifted a little too much of this product, so it thinned it out a little too much. Um, but I, I, overall, I do like the coverage. This is the only product that is not drugstore because I don't have a drugstore setting powder, but this is the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm just going in with the beauty sponge and just setting the concealer under my eyes, uh, down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and on my chin, wherever I apply concealer. concealer. Next, I'm going in with the NYX Micro Something uh, Brow Pencil, and I'm just filling in my brows. And I'm going in with the Maybelline Micro Fiber Mascara, and just adding a little bit of, uh, you could see here how the NYX pencil is, even though it's in the shade Brunette, it's a little warm. So the mascara kind of adds fibers, fills it in, and makes it a little more neutral. Now I'm just cleaning it up with the Fit Me Concealer. Next, I'm, this is the e.l.f. Um, contour powder, and I'm just actually using this to contour. Um, I'm going in with the bronzer shade, and this is my first time using it, and I really am impressed with this palette. It's $6.99, and look at the shade, how beautiful and natural. You can see how it's carving out my cheekbone. I'm just brushing it on the, my hairline and literally brushing it back. And then going in and doing the other side. It's just giving you a very natural contour. Next, I'm going in with a chisel brush and using the cooler shade in the palette and just kind of carving out my contour just a little bit more and just defining it and then blending it out with a fluffy brush. I'm using a Morphe angled brush to contour my nose, and you're gonna see how I go into the bottom of my brow, and that's where I begin my contour line. It starts from like the inner part part of my brow and then dragging it out so that it gives you a more natural effect. And then I'm going in with some translucent powder and just baking the sides of my nose so that it gives you a more uh, pinched um, effect. I'm gonna film an in-depth brow tutorial and show you guys. Here I'm going in with a little bit of the bronzer shade in my contour, um, in my e.l.f. contour palette and just using that just to contour and define the eye a little bit using windshield wiper motions. Just curling my lashes and adding a little bit of mascara and prepping them for my falsies. And this is the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara. I forgot the number of these lashes, but I actually didn't like them at all. bottom lashes I'm using the L'Oreal telescopic mascara next I'm going in with this beautiful wet and wild uh, blush in the shade rose champagne 
and for highlight I'm using the Maybelline Molten Gold highlighter you guys this is by far the best drugstore highlighter I've ever used look how stunning that is And I'm just going on the top of my cheekbones and then using a pencil brush and hitting the tip of my nose and kind of blending that out a little bit and going in with a little bit for the bridge of my nose. And the reason I'm using a fan brush is because it really helps disperse it and blend it back onto my contour. Next I'm going in with some rose water and glycerin spray and just spraying that all over my skin really melting in that the powder products. So I'm outlining my lips and I'm using a, um, a the MAC Strip Down Liner. You can use any shade you want. Next, I'm going in with my ColourPop Arriba <laughs> Liquid Lipstick. Uh, this is a ColourPop and I Love Sarai collab. Beautiful red. And over top of that, I'm going in with a clear gloss. This is just an e.l.f. plain clear gloss. This is the final look, guys. I hope you enjoyed this all drugstore makeup tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you liked it, leave me any comments in the bottom bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys!